Hello and happy day number 31. This is Jacqueline Nichols and I'm so excited to share with you on my continued 12-week series. We are still snowed in and uh, this morning I went on an adventure and I had a great time because I had to get laundry detergent. Sometimes practical things just have to happen. But on the way back, oh my gosh, the snow and rain and ice was just plummeting on my forehead that I felt like I was having an outside brain freeze. It was actually painful. And it really made me think of how important it is that we take care of ourselves, but we also need snuggle people, people to come home and be warm with. And we had such a great walk, but I thought about how many of my clients don't have their snuggle person. And that's why I love what I do. And I love that I can be an entrepreneur and I can still work my business even when I can't get to the office. But this made me think about what I told you I was going to tell you about yesterday, which is about sharing a little bit more about my own personal journey that has brought me to this level as a matchmaker. It was exactly this time four years ago that I actually put a Facebook post out that said, I am single and looking for someone to talk to. And I was looking for a Valentine date. I said, I don't have a date for Valentine's. Anybody interested? And a wonderful sweetheart of a guy that we had been talking and messaging for quite some time jumped on and said, hey, um, I, I, I am. And um, I already made us reservations at a awesome restaurant. And I thought, wow, talk about initiative and follow through. So we had our first date after talking for a long time online and had a really, really nice time and he even gave me four chocolates in a cute little box. And then we tried to see how it progressed and, and unfortunately we didn't make it as a couple, but we're actually still friends to this day. We have a really neat relationship, but I don't even think he realizes that he was my inspiration. He was my reason why I chose to become a matchmaker. After a little bit of dating, I realized wow, there are so many great people out there, but not the right people know about them. And one week after our first date, which is one week after Valentine's, I developed my new business. And here it is almost four years later, and we're about to celebrate that anniversary time. And now I have a new owner. And it's because I was willing to look at a situation and say, hey, there's something more to all of this. There's something more that's possible and something more that is real and has potential. And I was inspired by such a great person that even though he wasn't my match, he was an awesome person. And he really deserved to find his match. So think about it. What are you willing to put out there and let people know that you're single and available, that you're interested, or that you want to find love? And if you're looking for business, are you ready to put it out there that you're ready for new clients? If you are in love, are you ready to put it out there that you're ready to have a better life together? You need to put it out there and just see what happens. I just think it's so incredibly important and so valuable and so necessary to do the and then some and figure out what's important to you. So what are you willing to put on the line? Say you're available. How many of you are looking for a date for Valentine's? And who knows, that Valentine might change your entire life. If I had never become a matchmaker, I would have never known how much men and women are so misunderstood, so misrepresented, and so unsupported. But it's because of that one person that said, I want to be your Valentine date, and jumped on it, made reservations, and made it an awesome time that has also made us to have a friendship that has continued for multiple years because he's a great guy. And the lady that gets to be with him is a very, very lucky lady. I'm just honored that he's still my friend. So put it out there on Facebook, on your status update, wherever you let people know that you are single and available and looking for your Valentine. Or if you are in a relationship, let your current Valentine know how to step up the plate and do a little extra. Make it worth it, make it wonderful. You deserve the best.